Okay, I'm back. Now, 10 minutes is a really long time to wait. But this looks pretty good, so I think I'm going to go ahead and start my pouring now. I'm working in here instead of in the studio because my studio, the floors of my house are not very flat. So this table is actually the flattest table that I have in the house. And so I'm going to work here. Um, I do notice that my bezels sit really nice and flat except for the bracelet. The bracelet, the way that it's designed, uh, the little metal connectors do not allow it to sit completely flat. Um, not sure if I'm going to go ahead and pour for the bracelet. I think I'll do these five first and maybe wait so that I can uh, maybe have a tray with like rice on it or something so that they'll sit a little bit more. I don't know, maybe it'll be okay. We'll try it. Maybe I don't even have enough resin, we'll see. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just pour this in with the popsicle stick and um, let's see, I'll start this big one first. This might take a little while. You want to get a nice dome on it also, so you want to fill it up pretty good. I've never used these wooden bezels for this before, so I'll be anxious to see how that works out. I think the trick is for this one maybe just to do it so that it's e nice and even with the top of the wood bezel instead of pouring in too much. So that it doesn't get on the surface of the wood. It looks really good. There is not a single bubble in it. Which makes me very happy. Although, I don't think I'm going to have enough to do all of these. So, let's see. I'll do my leaf. Fusion, or, I'm sorry, Fusion. Lima Beads sent me this cool bezel from Patricia Healy, which is copper. It's really cool. I'm really excited about this piece. If it turns out, I'll be psyched. Going really well so far, no bubbles yet. The next thing I have to worry about is the paper. I'm pretty sure I coated it as as well as I can. I hope. The problem that you have with that is that it tends to bleed, which is a real bummer.
still have some left, so I'll see if I can do the bracelet. I don't think it, those need that much in each one. The hard part, hardest part about doing this is waiting three days for it to, to cure, but you definitely want it to be completely dry before you do anything with it. You could get fingerprints or nicks in the plastic and that's no big, that's no fun. that'll do it. So I've got them all filled. It's hard to see. They look pretty good. No bubbles. So I'll let you know how uh, they turn out um, when they're all cured. See ya!